today I'd like to talk to you guys about uh, chapter 8, Reaction of Al Keynes. So, most of the reactions that we're going to see in this chapter are going to follow a kind of a similar pattern. So, if we look over here at this molecule, there's an alkene, that's your pi bond. That's the thing that's going to be the nucleophile, it's going to be our, what reacts. And here we have uh, one, two, three, four groups on it, like potential chiral centers that may be forming here. If you take that carbon-carbon uh, double bond and move it over on its side, you can see the pi bond right here. It turns out that either side of that pi bond can have an electrophile add to it. So because of that, we often see a mixture of stereo isomers. Now, the type of reactions that we're going to see in this chapter that follow this type of pattern are going to involve the formation of cations. We're going to see radicals. And then we're going to see in a type of an addition called sin or anti-addition. So I kind of outline these down below here for you. Cation here, you have your carbon-carbon double bond grabbing a hold of your electrophile, and what you're going to get there in the end is a carbocation. So you will have here, let's get the right color, you're going to have a carbon, 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 all right, with an H that's added. So this is the H that's gained from here, and a plus charge there. So that's the first type of reaction that I want to review with you. And then the other one is radicals. So radicals, remember, use these little fish hook arrows, right? These little guys like this. Now, um, what we form here is a radical. So we go through, draw that out. Here's your carbon. In this case, a bromine atom has been added. Two bonds, and you end up with your carbon and a radical right here. Now, the types of addition that we end up seeing is a sin type of addition. And in a sin addition, we can have atoms A and B add to the same side. So it's the same side. And it can do the same side top or same side bottom. Right? So if it's the same side top, what we get is our carbon and our carbon attached to A and B, and then those wedges and dashes get pushed down like that. All right, so that's the same side top, same side bottom over here would be A and B over here with your wedge and your dash there. So, depending on the circumstances, you could also flip so that, right, like, A was over here and B was there. That could give you different products on the top and bottom. It turns out that in a lot of reactions, that the alignment of A and B is uh, prefers a, a certain regiochemistry. So, we'll talk more about that later. All right, so, let's come down here below and let's look at anti. So, anti happens in, you know, Kind of two steps so we get the a atom adding on one side and the b on the other side so with what i circled there that would look like this and then our wedges and dashes stay in place and then if we do our a down here and our b over here it would give you this So that's the, the general introduction as to what type of reactions that we're going to see. Many of them in this chapter follow this type of a pattern. 